Alright, in this adventure, we're on a brand new piece of property here that John hooked us up with. What's up, John? What's that? <laughs> Y'all remember him on some of my past videos, and you remember this young girl right here, I know. Yvonne! Alright, we're going to be hitting him up in just a second. We're going to find something today, fellas. I wouldn't think so. Some silver. <laughs> <laughs> we got silver, Massey. You got to find something. <laughs> this property does have some trenches on it, right, John? <laughs> It some does us. have earthworks, yeah. Earthworks and some trenches and stuff, so let's see what we can do. Here we go right now. All right, looks like this could be one of the trenches right here coming through here. And we're going to be hitting this area right here. You see it goes, runs right up through here. So we're going to check it out right now. Buddy's, buddy's in the lead. All right, buddy, lead the way. All right, this is some beautiful, beautiful woods. Check it out. That's just beautiful just walking through here today. Nice rolling hills, big old uh, ravine down here. Uh, perfect spot. We're trying to hunt the high ground. There's a buddy up there at the high ground up there. I'm trying to hit the lower ground here. And, and Johnny and Yvonne are down here uh, hunting back down here on the other side of these, uh, this ravine here. So we're going to see who gets a hit. We're kind of scouting it out right now. See who finds a good spot. But uh, we keep getting up. It's beautiful, isn't it? Awesome day out. I love it. The sun's out today. All right, still no targets back here yet, but check this out. A nice little skull. Not sure what that is, tell you the truth. It's half a skull, actually. Look at that front size of tooth right there. That's not a deer, for sure. That's some kind of a uh, rodent animal, maybe. I don't know. Maybe a fox. I don't know. Interesting looking guy there. Oh, we're still in the woods here. I just called Buddy. We got separated. He's going to come meet us in here. And uh, see if we can't hit out that direction for another maybe half a mile. Check all that area out. If we don't find anything in here, we're moving on to another spot. You know we got a backup spot. You know that. But uh, this is right near a definite Civil War battle where thousands of troops were at. We're probably uh, a mile from it, but they had to cross through here. They had some trenches. They had, uh, I'm sure they had some um, you know, activity here. So, but they could have had skirmishes all along here, so... We're just trying to find that one spot, but sometimes it doesn't work out. You know that. You know how metal attacking is. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, first decent target. Something round in the hole, but I got a feeling it's going to be... Oh, let me cut this pinpoint off. It's going to be a stinking Lincoln, I bet. That's where I guess is anyway. It'd be nice to see a weedy do. I can't really tell what it is right now. Might have been there a while. Let's see if I can clean up a little bit here. Yeah, I see Lincoln. But it might be a weedy. Can't tell right now. Let's see if I can clean up enough to see anyway. Oh, there's a weedy! Got a weedy! Sweet. I like that. Alright. That means it could be silver in the range. Alright, let's check it out. Right. Awful slow in here right now. I did just find this bottle laying on the ground. And it is old, it looks like. You see the big bubble in it right there. And uh, definitely got the old cork top. Oranges. I'm not sure how old that would be, but uh, maybe late 1800s, early 1900s, maybe. Big old bubble right there. Look at that. Big bubble. So, anyway, we're going to check this area real good, make sure there's not something else going on here. We'll take some silver from the late 1800s right now. We'll take anything right now. It's slow. All right, let's keep All right, after very few targets and uh, digging some trash, I think I might have some. I'm not sure. But it looks like a bullet right there. Check it out. Y'all see it? Oh, look at that. I'm thinking it's a, a Civil War bullet. Smooth-sided. But I'm thinking that's Civil War right there. Sweet. Yeah. All right, boy says he thought he had a coin. Wait, now he thinks it's a pendant. Oh, yeah, it is a pendant. That's a nice pendant, though. Don't know what it is yet, but uh, let's see if we can see anything on it. I think it's religious, buddy. I think I see like a, a Jesus figure or something, maybe. I just cleaned the back off, too. Man, that's nice, though. Yep. See, it's a nice pendant. Let's see if we see anything on the back on it. Probably if you don't mind me rubbing this, buddy. What do you think? Put some luck on it. Rub, rub it for luck. Here we go. Come on, give us some good stuff. Relic gods, hook us up right here. Alright, we'll bag up and check out when we get home. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It definitely has some kind of design on it, though. Alright, stay tuned. We'll show it to close out. Alright, buddy, clean it up a little bit. And it's actually, if y'all look at it closely, it's like an Indian head. Something, I'm sure. Or something, yeah. 
some kind of tree beside the Indian head. Same thing on the back, buddy. Same thing, right? Yeah, something similar. Something similar, anyway. He found us right beside it, too. It's got some designs on it. We've got to clean all over there. It might have been part of something here. We don't know. But it's best to find so far, I think, buddy. All right, I'm just going to show you this right here. A beaver tried to cut this tree down right here. Pretty big size tree, but he didn't quite make it through. It's pretty old, too. That was a long time ago he tried to cut this tree down. I think he just about pushed it over to tell you the truth. It's dead. He definitely killed it for sure. Uh, we got to cross a swamp right here real quick, so stay tuned. Here we go. Man, I tell you, this is a rough area here. A lot of ravines. We're climbing. Woo! We're getting a workout today, that's for sure. Not really fine a whole lot either, but we'll give it a try. Right, buddy? Give, huh? give it a old try. Man, all right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, John got all his stuff no, no, laid out no, here. Man, oh, we got some more finds over here? Oh, yeah, man. They, this is me. That's your bond. Your bond got the best. You got a nickel. Yeah. Man. I hear you. Man, shotgun shells. Yeah, I hear you, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that man. I found that. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be nice to find that? Woo! Man, oh man, oh man. I just, I oh I man. Alright, we're, we're gonna hit another spot for right now, stay tuned. Alright, private behind me here, John's been hunting for years, uh, but uh ended up renewing our permission and uh just went out with him, so we're gonna be hunting in the woods here behind us here. But Buddy has uh found something right here on uh the property before we got in the woods here. And that's something. Got a round ball, buddy. Put it there, buddy. Yeah, man. Starting off good. We're just getting started here at this property. Our second hunt of the day. Probably got two or three hours here, don't we, buddy? Yep. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, I bet a few y'all dug a couple of those right there. Them plow blades will get you every time. All right, we're going to put that back. All right, let's bury it up. All right, here we go. All right, this permission is a great permission, and uh, we're really happy to be here. And buddy says he's got something over here right now. We're just getting started here. What do you got, buddy? Buddy says, check this out. Look at that bullet way down there between the roots. Right there. Where's that, buddy? Right there. Is it in the root? Yeah, it won't come out. Oh, I see it. There's a bullet right down in the hole. It's actually stuck into the root. Man. She's in there, buddy. Yep. Oh, I got it. It popped right out. Yeah, it was kind of wedged in there, but there it is. Three ringer. We're coming. We're going to town there, buddy. We're gonna do good now. That's, that's fire to hit something. Yeah, that's awesome. Is it? It's not carved, is it? No, it hit something smashed. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's keep digging. All right, looks like I got a little something in the hole. Man, I'm so excited. Look at this. It's definitely a Civil War bullet. Look at that. Not sure what kind it is yet. Oh man, let's see this throw a little bit off here. I think it's a three ringer. Yep, it's a three ringer. Man, I'm loving it. All right, we're catching some Civil War relics now. All right, in this area we're in right now, I'd say that's probably a bullet, 16, 17. Sometimes you go to certain areas, I would say no. But right here, there's, there's like no, there's like no, uh, uh, can't saw hardly at all. Uh, definitely big time Civil War battle zone. So I'm thinking Civil War bullet right here. Get this plug out the ground. Like that. Uh oh. What do we Not there. I see it went deeper. Maybe. Let's check it out. Alright, here we go. Yep. It's down at the bottom. A lot deeper. Wow. We're still digging down. I feel something down here. It's coming up right now. I don't know what it is yet, but here it is right here. It's a round ball. There it is. Civil War, baby. We're in it now. All right, let's keep digging. I love it. All right, we got another skull, but we know what this one is. This one is actually a deer skull. 
You can see the team tail by the teeth right here. I'll get you a close up look. Eye socket right there. Different than that other one had that fang on the end here, so that's definitely deer right there though. Alright, we're gonna get right there. What you got, buddy? Got a three ringer. Got my three ringer, so it's ringing about 16, huh? 16. Look at that right there. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if it's dropped or if it's uh been fired here. Looks like it might be dropped, buddy. Yep. It's pretty clean looking. Better check out, see what's inside, but nice job. Sweet. All right, let's keep digging. All right, I just knocked something at the side wall down here. I think it might be a bullet. Yes, it's a bullet. And it's a sharp bullet, I think. That is a sharps. Yep. Beautiful. All right, we're still digging uh, bullets in here. Now, John actually buried a shell in here. He found a shell in here. And uh, we're going to actually go see if we kind of get an idea where it might be. Do a quick look for it anyway. All right, all right, we got one more bullet, and it is a mash bullet. That thing has fired and right into the ground there. That's a gardener, I think. I see the two rings on the inside. If I had to guess, I see that's a gardener bullet. We're in Confederate territory. Awesome. I'm thinking gardener right there, buddy. All right, let's bag it up. Look for a couple more here. All right, this target was at an unbelievable depth. You can see down here in the hole. About one and a half lengths of this right here. Man, that thing was down there. What is that thing? Let's cut it off here. It was, that's like eight inches, nine inches. So it's got 13 inches down. It's a piece of a spoon. Definite piece of a spoon here. I can tell the end of it right there. It's pretty cool. That's an old one too, buddy. That's got to be old. All right, let's bag it up, sweet. John, you've been having a look. Well, it's been tough going, but I found a few things. Yeah, it's been tough yeah. out here, but we've got some good stuff. That's a nice shell frag right there. Nice that's probably a Bullman. Yeah, that's Bullman 12 pounder right there, I'm sure. Pretty sure. Now you say uh, his uncle actually lives right here at it, and um, you say he's found some right in his yard, right? Oh, yeah, two or three. Just shells, whole, whole, whole shells parrot. right there. Yeah. Whole parrot shells right oh, in his yard. Lord, I just lost the prettiest two ringer. Oh, uh, we'll find it, John. It ain't going nowhere. Uh, John says he found a two ringer too. He just dropped it. We lose more than we find anybody, sometime. Anybody got a metal detector? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. Anybody out there? Oh man. Here you go, John. What, what else you got in your hand, John? I'll look I, at it. I get that. As deep as I dug it, it's period. I'm pretty sure it's period of the Civil War, and it looks. I've owned a few kegs, and it looks like a barrel band for a powder keg. A powder keg. How yeah, about that? Okay. looks like a bottom or the top band for a powder keg. All right, hold on. We're going to get my metal tape. We're going to find that bullet yeah. right now. Here we go. Right there. All right, we found it. We got John's two-ringer. Oh, gardener bullet. I think I got one too, John. All right, sounds good. Well, let's keep hunting for a little bit longer. Got to get out here in just a little bit. All right, Vaughn, everybody's showing what they found. What you found? I found two cups of coffee. What? <laughs> You've always been chilling. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going to hit for just a little bit longer. I'd like to find some more shell frags, John. That's nice. Right there. Okay, we're going to hit it. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Buddy and I really enjoyed hunting with uh, John and Yvonne today. I had a great time. Appreciate inviting us out there, John and Yvonne. Uh, we'll have to do it again. Uh, we had a slow start in the morning. The first spot we hit was uh, pretty slow. We walked a long way. Buddy and I just scouting and scouting. And just didn't really hit a whole lot. But we always have a backup plan. Got to have a backup plan. And so the second spot, we finally hit some good stuff. Uh, we're going to check that out right now. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Here we go. I'm gonna hey, y'all got to help us on a couple things, too. I'm not sure what they are, so y'all sleuths out there. Y'all have been really good on helping me identify some of the stuff I find, so I appreciate that. And let's check it out right now. I'll get to that. All right, first thing, the trash. Hey, I found a golf ball. Uh, shotgun shells, uh, error, end of an error point there. Um, I dug this one bullet here. It's a, it's a, I'm 90% sure it's a um, gardener. See the two rings on it right there versus the one ring on the standard three ringer right there. Pretty sure that's a gardener. Uh, and that's a, uh, well, I'll just finish up here. Uh, these are modern bullets here, but the second one here is, is um, Sharps. 
It's got the dimple, I forget what they call it, dimple sharps or something like that. I think this is an infield. This is one I need some help with, but I'm not sure about that one. It looks like it's got some rifling on it or something, and it's a solid back. A little dot right in the center, but if anybody can tell me if they think that is an infield or not, let me know. Now, I'm not sure about that one. Definite round ball. Uh, buddy, he got he got a little bit of trash. Some of the modern bullets like I got over there. He did dig two clad coins, a dime and a quarter. He got three Civil War bullets, round ball, a um, three ringer, two three ringers. This one's definitely mashed up. I always clean them out to make sure we don't have like US in there or something for sure. But these are things we need help. Well, we got this right here, a uh, harmonica reed. You see us found a ton of them things. Uh, two things here we got. Buddy found these. He said they were really deep, and we don't know what I'm going to put pictures of them here. Here's one side of this one. Y'all can see it up there. Like an Indian one, I think. And then the other side is a, I don't know, I think one side is a male Indian, a female Indian. I don't know. That's a, a questionable thing there. This is a square thing here. And they were found close to each other, so and they're all Indian related, so uh, thinking there's something to do with it. Here's the front side of that one. Back side, I'll put pictures up there. Same thing with this. Front side. Back side. If anybody has any clue what they mean, what they are. It appears to be a pendant, but I really don't know. We don't know what it is. I have no clue. And if that was part of it, I don't, there's no place for that to hang from. Unless it was two different pieces of jewelry. We don't know. That it could be old, because it was way deep in an old area. So, anyway. If anybody has any clue what that is, please let us know. Anyway, that's going to do it right there for us. Uh, appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure. Um, hopefully we'll head out there somewhere tomorrow, so stay tuned for another adventure coming soon to a theater near you. All right, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, blow, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. Almost forgot. All right, take, stay, take care. We'll see you later.